Welcome participants to this video lecture on tools for QCN test construction. So participants, there are many tools that you can use for creating QCN tests. As we have seen in the previous module, there are different types of test items. Objective types are there, multiple choice questions are there, filling the blanks questions are there. There are different kinds of test items. So by making use of these tools, which are either available online or the one which the tools you have to download. So you may pick out the tool which is comfortable for you to create QSOS and test. In the screen, you may be seeing the list of tools. Few tools are like Kram is there, 50 sneakers, Kubu, Learn Click. Q slides, School Sonic Markbook, Study Blue, EnetSS, EC Test Maker, then QCs, Hot Potatoes, Synap, Surpass, Exam Buddy, Howl Pro, My Gradebook, Online Exam Builder, Pro QS Maker, Question Tools, Question Writer, Q Star, One Click QS Maker, then Test Maker, QS Builder. Quea Bub, Respondents, Viewlet Qs, Content Generator, Ealing Brothers. So these are some of the tools that you can use for developing QSS and tests. Now let us see some of the free and hosted tools. Free and hosted means these tools are available on online. Let us discuss some of the available tools that are freely available. The first one is Cram, then 50 sneakers are there, Kubu is there, Learn Click, Q Slides, School Sonic Markbook, Study Blue, Surpress, and Synap. These are some of the freely available tools that you can use for developing QSS and slides. Now let us discuss in brief the features of these tools. The first one is Cram. Cram is used for making flashcards. Basically, even you can create QSS and tests. The second one is 50 sneakers. In 50 sneakers also you can develop QSS and tests. Even there are options for analyzing the results. Those who are taking the tests in the 50 sneakers platform, they can see the test results when they are attending the test. The third one is Kubu. Kubu also have many features. You can develop different kinds of test items with this free and hosted learning tool. Then in Learn Click also, you can develop different kinds of QSS. Learn Click is basically an e-learning platform. And to use Learn Click, you have to register and you have to enter using your login credentials. Thereafter, you may create the test that you want for your teaching learning purposes. In learning click, you will find a link for creating the test. So once you click on that link, you will see how you can develop QSS and test using the learn click software. Then next free and hosted e-learning tool is the Q slides. Q slides also have the facilities to create QSS and test. Even you can transport the QSS that you have developed in PPT or PDF format. Those QSS and tests that you have created in PPT and PDF can be exported to QS slides. To use QS slides again, you have to register. Then you log in using your username and password. The next is School Sonic Markbook. Basically, as the name indicates, School Sonic Markbook is to enter the marks scored by the students. Even there are facilities to create QSS and tests. The next is Study Blue. Study Blue is a crowdsourced e-learning service providing service. In Study Blue, there also you can create various kinds of QSS and tests. The next is Surpress. Surpress is basically an e-learning platform. Presently, there are millions of students who make use of this platform for creating tests and QSS. 
the QSOS and tests that you have created in surplus can be transported to other file formats also. Now we'll discuss about the Synapse. Synapse is also a freely available QS construction tool. Now let us see how QSOS and tests are constructed in Synapse. As you see in the slide, to use Synapse, you have to register yourself. After registering, you will enter the website using your username and password. After entering the website, you will see a link for creating the queues. You click on that link, then it will take you to a page as you are seeing in the slide. Then the first thing that you have to do is to name your queues. You give a name for your queues. Then you click on that button which shows create queues. Then again it will take you to another page as you see in the slide. So there you give the description about your queues. Thereafter you will find a drop down menu which you can select and you keep adding your questions. Once your questions are added, you save and submit that. Then your tests are developed. So this is how you are developing your QSS and tests in Synapse software. Now let us discuss some of the free downloadable tools that can be used for creating QSS and tests. The two popular tools are, one is the hot potatoes, the other is QSEs. Let us discuss about these two tools. Hot potatoes is very popular software for developing QSS. To use hot potatoes, similar to other tools, here also you have to register and log in. At present, the hot potatoes version 6 is in practice, in service. So you may download that software and use it for creating QSS and tests. The next free and downloadable software is QSIS. In QSIS also, you will find link like get started. So you click on that and you will see how QSIS are constructed in QSIS. So there also you can develop, add, keep on adding different types of questions. So these are two tools that are freely available, which are downloadable and you can use it for creating QSIS and test. Now we will discuss about some of the commercial but that are hosted. These websites are hosted on the website. It is already available in the internet. But to make use of the services of this website, you have to pay. So these tools are called commercial or paid softwares. Some of the commercial softwares are, as you see in the slide, class marker is there, easy test marker, eNetSS, ExamBuddy, Howl Pro, My Gradebook, Online Exam Builder, Pro Process, QS Maker, Question Tools, Question Writer, Quia Web, QS Base, QS Builder, Test Maker, Web QS. These are some of the commercially available tools for creating QSS and tests. Now let us briefly discuss these tools, the features of these tools. The first one is Class Marker. Class Marker is a tool which is commonly used for business, education and training purposes, wherein which they create QSS and test for analyzing their employees performance. So it is commonly used in educational purpose also. In class maker you will find ready made templates. The only thing you have to do is you keep on adding the question that you want to test. The next one is easy take test maker. In easy test maker also there are different uh, testing formats like as we have discussed multiple choice questions can be added, fill in the blanks questions can be added, essay type questions can be added. So in EC test maker also to use EC test maker, you have to first register, then you have to sign, you have to log in using your cred uh, login credentials. The next is ENET Assess. ENET Assess is an online platform, not only online learning, it, it is also equally used for creating QSS and tests. In ENET Assess also you will find, you have to register first, then you have to log in using your username and password. There also you will find the formats, different question formats. So the question formats that is useful, useful for your QSS and tests can be added in ENET Assess. The next one is exam buddy. In exam buddy also you will find the options, customized templates for creating QSS and tests. The next one is Howl Pro. In Howl Pro, 
you will prepare the test by logging in using your username and password. Howdro is also one of the commercially available tools for creating QSIS and tests. In Howdpro, when you are creating QSIS and tests, you can embed different file formats like images can be embedded, videos can also be embedded. The next one is My Gradebook. My Gradebook is having a feature like there, there you can create two accounts, one for the school and the other for the teachers. In school account, usually the school administrators operate that account. So if they want to check the performance of the students of those schools, they create the account and the questions will be provided through my gradebook. And if the teacher wants to check the performance of the students, then the teacher creates the account and questions are distributed through my gradebook. The next one is online exam builder. Online exam builder is also one of the popular tools used for constructing QSIS and tests. At present, more than 1 million users are using the services of online exam builder. In online exam builder also when you are creating test, you can embed images and other file formats. The next one is Pro Profs. Pro Profs is also one of the popular tools which is commonly used in education, business and other training services. In Profs also if you want to use Pro Profs, you create the account and login using your login credentials. Then you start creating tests and QSIS. The next one is question tools. Question tools is another popular tool used for creating QSIS. There also you create the questions or QSIS and you can Im embed images and videos to your questions. Then it is provided to the students. The next one is question writer. Question writer is another popular tool. This is owned by Question Write Corporation. Question Writer tool provides services to both individuals and other multinational companies. And this is one of the award winning softwares used for constructing tests and QSIS. The next one is Quia Web. Quia Web is providing 16 online services of which creating QSIS and tests is one. Similar to other platforms, here also you can embed images and video files when you are creating QSIS. And when the students attend the QSIS, their grades are automatically visible on the screen. The next one is QSBase. QSBase is another popular tool. It is there in the service since 20 years. To use the services of QSBase, you have to sign a contract with that company then they will provide the services of QS base. The next one is QS builder. QS builder is another commercially available tool for creating QSIS and tests. In QS builder, the QSIS are developed in flash formats and this can be exported to other file formats also. The next one is test maker. Test maker also supports different file formats and when you create you can embed different fi uh, files like images, videos and all. To use TestMaker, you have to again register and you have to login using the login credentials. The next one is WebQs X. WebQs XP also supports different file formats. They also provide services with regard to different question formats. So the, the, the type of question that you want, that you can prepare in WebQs XP. Now let us discuss some of the free trial versions of the commercially available tools. These tools are again paid tools, you have to pay for it. But at present they offer some free trial versions which you can down, which you can use for creating QSIS and test. This includes one click QSMaker, then the QS star and respondents. Let us see briefly what are the features of these tools. One click QSMaker is a commercially available tool. To use that you have to register first, then you log in. And in one click, one click QSER, there are number of features which helps the students to attend and attempt the QSERs that are available in the one click QSMaker. So you can add images, videos, sound effects and many other I mean, attractive features can be 
added to this one click quiz maker. The next one is quiz star. Again, you log in using your login credentials. Here also you can embed images and videos. And the quizzes that you are developing in quiz star can be converted to other languages also. This is one of the added feature of quiz star. The next one is responders. This is again an e-learning platform. Here also to use the services of responders, you have to have teacher account and student account. So the teacher login using the teacher uh, login details and the quizzes and tests, tests are developed. Then it is supplied to the students and students again login using their login credentials and attempt to the quiz. So this is about the responders. Next, there is one tool which is commercially available, which have a free trial version now, but that has to be downloaded for your purpose. This is the Vuelet quiz. So Vuelet quiz was established in 1997. And they make use of Vuelet technology. And this Vuelet technology is patented by one of the companies called Carbon. So here the questions are formed in flash formats. So it gives some kind of attractiveness which attract the students to attempt that quiz. So this is one of the popular tools used for constructing quizzes and which makes use of Vlet technology. Next, let us discuss two tools which are commercially available, but they have to be downloaded for your use. As you see in the slide, one is the content generator and the other is e-learning brothers. In both content generator and e-learning brothers, you have the option for embedding images and video files and they support various question formats and these features can be used while you are preparing the QSS and test. So in this video lecture, we have discussed about the various tools that can be used for creating QSS and tests. We have discussed about the free tools and commercially available tools. We have discussed some of the commercially available tools which are having the trial version. So you may be, uh, you may use those tools for creating QSS and tests and can be used for your teaching learning purposes. Thank you.